Mars. Every time I leave my house, I can't go nowhere without my sword. Every time I leave my house, I can't go nowhere without my sword. Hey, preach me the Lord for the sword. Every time I leave my house, I can't go nowhere without my sword. Overtake thee. All these curses should come upon us and overtake us. Are we a cursed people? Yes, we are. Bring it out. You show me how we not a cursed people. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. Look around. They don't come down here and take care of the city. We got to start doing it. We got to start doing it. If you want the curse, if you want the curse, curses, Lift it. You got to put in the work. You have to start doing the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You have to. There's no, there's no if, ands, or buts. That's if right. you don't do it, you don't get the kingdom. Right. You don't get rulership. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou be in the field. <clears throat> like in these different work fields. There's different types of job fields you can take up. We are, we, don't, we are not in top corporations or none of that. Right. We all have to go to our oppressor no matter what we got to do. Right. right. And I know y'all look around and y'all see these white people around here. I understand that. I ain't talking about them. What The other white people in them corporations, they look at them as collateral damage. Right. right. The whole thing is to keep us down. Right. right. Read. Curse shall be the basket at thy store. Curse shall be the basket in the store. You go in the store right now, they've been making GMO foods from since uh 16, I'm gonna say about the 1600s. Been making them that long. Y'all been thinking y'all been getting good food because y'all older. Y'all been getting the same GMO. It's just now it's more enhanced. Right. That's how you curse. There ain't no nourishment in that. That's why we going bald at a young age. Bring it out. That's why we aging faster. Because we can't get the proper nourishments out of that because we, our basket is cursed. Read. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land. Curse shall be the fruit of our body. How you doing, sir? What's your name? You got testimony. You got testimony. What's your testimony? We're here to give out laws. Okay, well what law you need help with? Do you see yourself on this sign? Do you see yourself on this sign? Oh, you don't see yourself on that sign? Oh, well then this don't pertain to you then. Break it out. Read on. The increase of thy kind and the flux of thy sheep. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land. The Curse is being the fruit of our body. That is talk, that's talking about our kids. Our kid, they call our kids bosses. They out here shooting each other. They out here, they out here raping each other. Right. You know, we get to the age where since they passed all these laws for gay people, where it's gonna be legal for a gay man to roll up on you and ask you for your number. Hey. And ain't nothing you can do about it. He gonna cold disrespect you. Bring it out. You know another man ain't supposed to do another man like that. Right. There's certain men laws that ain't supposed to be tried. Right. Y'all know this. That's because we out here still sleep. Out here drinking on corners, watching TV, just being entertained. That's why we on the bottom. That's what they make it for. Bring it out. Read. The increase of thy can and the flux of thy sheep. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. Curse shall thou be when you all come into this world. When we come into this world, we are cursed because our forefathers didn't follow the commandments. Now we ain't following the commandments. Right. If we were just following the commandments, when we go out of this world, we won't be cursed no more. Right. Read on. 
the Lord shall send upon thee. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters was given to another people. Right now, if uh, social services come up on you and say, we don't like that you keep your kids out of school, we don't like what you teaching your kids, they can take them right. it out. and say you are abusing your children right. by teaching them their heritage. Right. That's crazy. Right. Back in the days when we was on the plantations, they would take our kids and sell them to another plantation owner. Right. Right in our face, what nothing we could do. Big strong man couldn't stop couldn't stop a little bitty skinny frail white man from taking his kids. Bring it out. Right. Read on. And thy eyes shall look and fail with all longing for them all the day long. And that's what you would do. You would look down the road and say, man, if that, I wish I would have, I, I should have. You ain't going to do nothing because they got to fear in you. They got to fear in you because they put you in slavery because you wouldn't listen to the most high God. Right. That's why you got to fear God put that fear in you. Right. That's why you follow the white man now. Because God put that fear in you. Bring it out. Read on. And there shall be no might in thy hand. There shall be no might. Like I said, back in the days in the field, we'd be like, I wish I could, that you ain't going to do nothing. God put that on us. Right now, if they roll up and take your kid, ain't nothing you can do. What you going to do? You going to take Kentucky to war? Bring it out. They going to send the National Guard to your house and be over in, in two minutes. Right. Read on. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. They shall, they, a nation we know is not shall eat up. When we was over in Jerusalem, 70 AD, and they came in there, they cut off our food, they was eating our food. That's why we couldn't get it in there. They cut it off before they came in us and killed us. Over here, over there they took our land to put us in slavery. Over here, they took our land. The tribe of Gad, that's the neighbor of America, that's Israel. Right. So when they came over here and did all that to the so-called Indians, they was doing that to our people. Bring it out. Read on. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Oppressed always. You're going to read my eyes. Right now today, right now today, we are all together in the United States of America you know, and which tribe is on top? None of us. Yeah, hit recording. For whatever, there's, uh, what, 50, there's 50 states in the United States of America. You show me one state where Judah or Israel is on top and there's not a white man on top of them. You show me one. There ain't one. We all oppressed over here. I don't care about the basketball players, the rappers. They got a lot of money. If they say the wrong thing, they will take the money away from them. Read. So that thou be mad for the sight of thy ass, which thou shalt see. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 36. Bring it out. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt rule, set over thee. Right there, when we was over in Jerusalem, we had a king over us. We had a king over us. We had a nation. We had laws, statutes, and commandments that God gave us. Right. Read on. Unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and thou shalt be served of the gods, wood and stone. We are serving other gods right now, wood and stone. That church, that church right there. You see the crosses up there? That's what y'all worshiping when y'all go in there. Right. That's an instrument of death. Right. That's an instrument of punishment that Rome used to use. Right. Our forefathers never had worship that thing. Right. right. They don't know nothing about worshiping no wood. And for all my uh, my stone worshipers out there. They want to go around the cobblestone and, and kiss that cobblestone and say you're not worshiping it. Then what you walking around and kissing it for? Bring it out. Why are you Muslims walking around a rock 
kissing a rock. Because that's your God. Your God is made of hands. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Into Egypt again with ships. This is spiritual Egypt. Over here, they, we got the bliss in Washington. If you look at the dollar bill, it's got the all seeing eye uh, raw on there. All this is spiritually set up the same way. The same way in, over in Egypt, the uh, gay people had power. Over here, they have power. They could get married, gays over her. Now they could do it over here. It's the same thing. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. Here is where we were sold. Who was we sold to? Our enemies. Who was we sold to? We were sold to the Grecians. We were sold to the white people. Those was our enemies. You know why? Because your, your brother is not going to put you in bondage. Your brother is not going to kill you. Your brother is not going to rape you. Your brother is not going to cut your fingers off because you didn't make the quarter. Your brother will not do them things to you. But your enemies will. They'll leave you laying. They'll leave you dead. And hey, don't they still don't they still shoot us down the street? Yeah, don't they still shoot us down in the street and leave us for dead? Right. Ain't nothing changed. They only want us to think it changed. Read. Book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. No. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Oh, 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 an astonishment. Do y'all feel that? He said an astonishment. Now, we used to rule over everybody. We was the top dog. We had all the money. Nobody could conquer us. Now, the astonishment is when they ride by and look at us and be like, damn, they used to rule over us. They were a bunch of drunks that can't even come together without fighting for five minutes. How could they rule over us? That's the whole problem. Bring it out. Read on. A proverb. And a byword. A proverb and a byword. A proverb. They said that it's safer for a child not to be in its mother's womb, a black mother's womb, because of the abortions. Because of the abortions. They say all Mexicans carry knives and cut people, especially the Mexican women. If you want to hide something from a black man, put it in the book, because we don't want to read, but we'll watch TV. We'll listen to what the white man said, but we won't listen to what our brother says. That's what they meant by hiding, because they're not going to tell you the truth. Read. And they by word among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Underneath all nations, we are in captivity underneath every nationality of people. Right. We've been underneath the Chinese. We still underneath the white man. We have been underneath every nation. <coughs> My bad, Moab. Right. And Ammon. That's what they called in the Bible. Right. But y'all think we supposed to be cool with them. Y'all don't know about the captivity that we was underneath them. Verse 38. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field. And the slavery, we carried, we, we carried much slavery. We carried much seed into the field. We carried much seed into the field. But what did we get of it? Read on. And shall gather but little in. Gather but little in. Why? Because our oppressor took the most of it. That's why we only got a little in. Because we because we had to give it to the oppressor. Real. For the locust shall consume it. Because we don't never listen. To, we don't never listen to our brothers. Excuse, excuse me, ma'am. How you doing today? Get the color, Christ. 
Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. What, what's your name, ma'am? Lee. Lee, let me, let me read something for you. And you can hear it when you walk. Just, just, just let me read something for you. All right? Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. It is as if they burned in a furnace. Brass. Brass is brown. Know that, right? That's what color Christ is. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom.